Well, we're just over a week away from Halloween now, and the coast life for a Diamond Head homeowner means going all out for the holiday and turning her home into a spooky showcase. We're going to get you. <laughs> This is my jam. You know, I wait all year to come out and do this. Dragons and skeletons fill Stephanie Ray's yard. Oh, I had her laugh at it. She keeps out doing herself with the elaborate displays. He's a new character this year. Every year it's a challenge. Like, how do I make it bigger? How do I make it better? When I saw the pumpkin witch, she's the one that started my theme for the year. Stephanie's house yeah, is a must stop for visitors looking to get into the Halloween spirit. Hers is like the best, I think. It's the ultimate. It is. <laughs> Some folks get superstitious about digging up the dead. You got gargoyles or, or dragons flanking you. Stephanie's favorite part of it all is spending time with her family. Her mom and kids help with the setup, and on Halloween, they all dress up together. These are the memories that I'm making for my family. Stephanie's 10th grade son couldn't imagine Halloween any other way, and he has fun surprising his friends. I think it's just great when they see, I see the reactions, and they're like, that's you? Would you like to come along with us? The October showcase is more than just about creating a thrill. Stephanie invites the expected nearly 1,000 visitors to donate a toy she'll then give to charities for Christmas toy drives. So if every family brought a toy, that's 900 toys to divide amongst the churches. Stephanie is also hosting a special gathering just for children who otherwise might not be able to experience the joys of Halloween. She got the inspiration from her friend's young child, Brighton, who's dealing with a terminal illness. Giving is a whole lot more than receiving, you know, and that, that stuff comes back to you and other blessings tenfold. <laughs> What's become a Diamond Head Halloween night tradition is costly and a lot of work. When you see how it all comes together and once it's all done, you know, it's, it's all worth it. And there's no plans on scaling back anytime soon. I figure if this gets any bigger, I'm going to have to talk to the city about leasing the park across the street because I'm going to run out of real estate just in this yard to handle the crowd. Yeah, you can go to a lot of haunted houses out there and pay money and might not be as good as that really is spectacular and it shouldn't be any surprise. They'll start thinking about what to do for next Halloween on November 1st. Yeah, they put in a lot yep. of work there, but sure for the calls too. So yeah, they, they make it worth it. And uh, you can find more information about those good causes on WLOX.com. I have uh, an email address there where you can ask uh, for more information. Yeah, and Carrie.